Hello YouTube. Hi guys. What's what's up guys? So today I'll be showing you how to play Mario Kart Arcade GPDX using jconfig and how to unlock everything except the racetracks because you need to to run everything again in the tracks okay so first the jconfig file this came from an emulation farm so extract this to your desktop okay so it it only has a small file so you'll see everything here and then once you have extracted the file let's close this out first you need to extract the Mario Kart dump or ROM that you downloaded I will be adding the disc the links in the description so you don't have to worry about it so this is a big file so it's 5.5 gig so you need to extract everything everything on that folder on that zip file and then you need to copy everything copy or just right for a lot faster you, you know what just uh, copy everything from the jcon big file control c control b if this window shows up you click skip this file do not replace the file in the destination okay skip this file so now you have the whole program already set but in case you have problems running the pro the, the emulator or the game you need to you need to put these files under designated folders oh don't worry this won't replace any files on your system 32 or sysvo 64 folder just in case that the game won't work but i know that you will need these files so i'll be adding up the link on the description for the mkdx fix so going back going back to the mario kart folder where everything is already set up you need to go first to your sv folder and then unlock all mkdx11 rar file open this then just drag it here then go back close this one out and then You need to run jconfig mk first. Okay. You need to make an exception. Alright. Because uh, your antivirus will detect that as something not uh, safe. But don't worry. I've been using this for a long time. It's safe. And then your I'll be using my Xbox 360 controller so if you're using an, another type of controller you need to choose that in the joystick type X input Xbox gamepad and then tick on the individual left analog all right go to settings uh, Stick on the fake analog steering wheel and set this to 3. Okay. Close this one out and assign your buttons. Again, just to. Sorry. Start is 7, which is wrong, I think. Service would be the left bumper. 
left analog, right analog, item would be the A button. Move up, left analog up, move down, left analog down, enter switch would be X button on your Xbox 360 controller. Mario button would be the Y button on your Xbox 360. Sorry. So it it has a timer. Break would be your left trigger. Axle would be your right trigger. Test mode would be your right bumper. Exit would be okay. Okay. Now sometimes the jconfig file messes up the configuration so you need to, to check again if this is the correct button type C. It changed now to a 9, coin is 8. You need to input everything again just to be sure. Left, right, A, move up, move down, enter switch, Mario button, Y button, brake, left trigger, axle, right trigger, test mode is the right bumper exit would be your right analog button where you press the right analog stick and then click OK and you're all done in addition you can always change the resolution of the game but for testing purposes I won't be configuring this anymore so once you're all set, you need to run this. No need to run this on as administrator because I I believe when you are using Technoparrot, you need to run this as an ad administrator. Double click on the game. So there. We'll just need to wait for it to load. Okay. You can close the folder. Oh, and one more thing. If you are doing other things and the Mario Kart window is not the active window, it will uh, slow down the loading. So, just a heads up. If you want to play this game, you need to make this the only active window. Okay. Well, you can open your Chrome or browser on the background. If you see not responding like that, it will it was just loading the files or checking the files, All right? We need to since you won't be using this for online play, I will be just clicking on private network. Okay. So this game is for use exclusively in Japan. Thanks to these people for making it possible to play it on our PC. I'm using a Windows 10, 64-bit Windows 10 Pro. Alright, let's test let's test the buttons. Okay, it's working. Let's check. Could not connect to Bana, Bana Passport. Service only offline mode available. That's okay. Press the item button. Now we could, as you can see everyone is unlocked. I'll just choose Mario and Fire Mario. And then I'll just uh, use the Mac, Mac Pegasus, sorry. Just use the white one. And then the national match has 50 races, so I hope you have a lot of time to play that. Then I'll just try the Grand Prix. Okay, I'll just go for the... 50cc for now okay see you need to race everything but it's already unlocked I'll just go with the toad cup round one and 
change to check the items everything's here special type i just use the star then attack type the spiny shell defense type maybe i'll just uh, use the bomb ba bomb okay exclusive item for your character double fireball So, trivia left and right are reversed newer courses are now available I'm using the English patch ROM it's your choice you can always use the original ROM and everything will be in the description box so if you like what you see please give a like subscribe and tap on the notification bell to be notified okay Okay, so I was unable to press my gas button, so by default, the game will auto axle. Means it will make your cart go without pressing the gas button. But the downside is you won't be able to drift. So if this happens, go to your test mode by pressing the test button where you assign it so I assigned it on my right bumper in my Xbox 360 controller it will enter the test menu so you need to go to the IO test press the enter switch button where you assigned it I assigned mine on the X button and then use your analog stick to go up or down and then press again the X button for your enter switch on the initialization of analog volume you will see here that your acceleration and brake is set to 640 that's why auto axle is on so you need to to press your left and right trigger where you assign your brake and acceleration buttons once you have done that you will see that it was uh, it is changing meaning that the game is reading your assigned pedals now after testing that press your switch button again it will go to zero 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 meaning that it's now calibrated and you'll be able to drift and use your axle button in the game so press the switch button again you will enter the switch test menu all you need to do is press up left analog stick up and press the enter switch button again where you assign it I assigned mine to X again so left analog stick up and press X you will go back to the IO test menu press switch button again to go back and then once you're on the test menu screen press the right bumper for the test button and it will read again the files which takes some time okay it's not responding again but that's normal the game server check is offline it's okay you don't you won't be playing this with other players online So I haven't tried the Namcam because this game version will not include the Namco circuit and the Donkey Kong circuit. Okay. So press your coin button. I assigned it on my select button. Okay, press the item button. Choose again Mario. I'll just uh, pick one the Mac bag is the second the white one so Grand Prix 50 CC Toad Cup round one okay change to check if all the items are still unlocked Kill the special I always use the star Spiny shell and Babam. Alright. 
let's wait for the game to load. So there's a trivia. Because in Japan, you can use your mobile phone. If you try the national match mode, the game will provide you AIs with the Japanese names uh, players. You won't be able to turn off the announcer for this, so you have to bear with that. Okay, let's try. Okay, so button is working now. I can try and drift. So to drift, you need to press your brakes and then just hold on to your gas or acceleration button to gain the drift boost. Okay, so third place, one result. This Racetrack doesn't need to have a lot of drifting. As you can see, I can only do one or two. One, level one or level two. Level two drift boost. Okay, I'll just finish this round and we're all set. I hope you like this video. So don't forget to subscribe for more content. I hope everyone will be able to play the game with all characters and all items and all cards unlocked. So, see? I hit the bomb! Such a noob. Alright, star, let's do this. Okay. I can't go to tree because the track is so straightforward. Okay, Max is two. And that's that. That's a wrap. So, again, don't forget to subscribe and like and share. And peace out. Bye guys.